the beauty of learning guitar is that you explore a world which is yours. And that's why in learning is the beauty. Because learning is in the process of learning also that you get this strength and inspiration. But certainly in guitar, the thing is that the possibilities are unlimited and anyone qualifies. You can learn. You can learn and explore your own things, even with one chord. For example, let's say minor here we have. We have this chord. And this C minor, right? Now, if, but if I change the bass now. And use D in the bass. make it become C major. A minor. Up to the subdiminished chord. So you see, you just explore one thing and it comes on limited possibilities. Just like in chess, learning guitar will give you the capacity to confront different situations, different combinations, and of course it enhances brain plasticity and and it has been proved that it's good for everything, for the nervous system and for, so it's an ideal entertainment, not only, but you explore your own possibilities. And that's why Chick Corea said that I am actually a student. People tell me maestro, maestro this, maestro that, but I actually consider myself a student because the fun is in the studying and what he did, the things that Paco, you know, <laughs> rasgueos and stuff like that, he tried to emulate it in the piano and learn it. So by this learning process is what you really achieve everything that is great in music history of guitar. And concretely speaking about the trio, of Paco de Lucia, John McLaughlin, and Aldi Meola, the super guitar trio, an unrepeatable story. And this thing here happened because of the desire of learning, because Paco said why he joined the jazz players. He said, I never went to the school and I, I didn't learn music in an orthodox form, but said that I could not do it, but I can learn playing with them. So he called John McLaughlin and Aldi Meola and do these things to learn. And he said, I, I went there to learn other ways to play. And, and from there, then all this influence of Chicorea and McLaughlin came into flamenco, into what we call, call con, can consider now as modern flamenco, came into, into existence. Why? Because of the desire to learn. Now, to learn, and same like in chess, you know, you can play at different levels. There is top level, you will not everybody is Carpo or, or Kasparov, right? Of Magnus Carlsen now, <laughs> so uh, which will not play by the way the the uh, he renounced his his title. Well, anyway, but the thing is is that also in chess, and I said that because there are things which music should promote as well, and in, in, at, at an educational level, because this gives you a direct experience of sound with sound of yourself. And, and, and the relationship there of this frequency. So it's, it's so many, many things happening at the mental level, at the, at the, cognitive, at the cognitive level, and, and at the muscle, nervous system, muscle level, or muscle memory, and many things about the memory there. And the, the, the thing that in music, you have to always confront different things. And then your brain, it's healthy because it's, it's, there is a plasticity there of this thing, right? And, and, it, and it's unlimited. Possibilities here in music, only chess, are unlimited. And you also learn to confront reality, right? And, but therefore, you need, to, you need to see where you stand. And I say that because I see most people having more fun and I envy them totally. I try to be, I am, I am, I am also a student, by the way, although people also call me maestro, a professor, but I consider myself also a student because the moment you stop learning 
I believe your heart closes. And this chance is now to learn this thing. So from any level, because most fun, if you want to really have fun, then see a beginner, his enthusiasm for music, etc. And then at a certain point, I believe we become like, um, well, or not we, because I, it was, music was my, my work, my job, but I elevated it from job to hobby, because hobby, everybody loves to do and work, not always, right? So this is the beauty of learning. Beauty of learning is that you can experience an adventure and discover new things about you. So if you are interested, you can call me and I see you on Skype. Thank you. Un abrazo and I see you next time.